This time I have a Jolita JD-102 vacuum tube amplifier. These are considered to be a high-end boutique amplifier. And when I got into this thing, I thought, oh my God, who's been into this thing servicing it? I talked to the owner of it and he assured me that nobody's been into it. He bought this brand new and I'm thinking, holy crap, if this is how these things are leaving the factory, then people are paying way too much for what they're getting. Check this one out. This time I've got a Joe Leida vacuum tube amplifier, around uh, I think 14 watts per channel, somewhere in that area. And this one has a very slight hum out of the left channel only. So slight I actually had to hook a speaker up and stick my head right up against it. But there is indeed a hum. Can you guys hear it? Can we put the speaker up here? Can you hear the hum? It is humming. It sounds like a filter problem. It's AC hum. So let's pop this thing apart and uh, see where the noise is coming from. Now vacuum tube amplifiers are high voltage devices so you have to take all the appropriate care in servicing these units before you do any work on them. You gotta remember that uh, we're talking several hundred volts so you gotta take into consideration that there is some risk involved when you get into the power supplies on units like this. First I'll remove the screws from the bottom Why is it that these audiophile amplifiers always look like some amateurs built them? Holy crap! Look at this! What a mess! Look at all that crud! I don't know if anybody else has been into this before, but what a mess! And the output tubes section. Incidentally, this is the channel where all the noise is. What do you think this is contributing to it? So the voltage on this is pretty high, about 370 odd volts, somewhere in there I'm going to guess. Uh, 353, okay. That's as the uh, tubes come into conduction. Be a little higher than that before they heat up and become biased. 347, this is the noisy side. I just want to watch what the voltage stabilizes at and compare it to the other side. 345, how's the other side look? Yeah, 352, so we're, we're pretty close. You hear the, the set humming away. Negative 27, negative 40. Notice I'm working with just one hand. The other hand is safely away from anything conductive. And that's a must when you're working on tubes. Like somebody's done modifications on this. You can see where the board has been cut. Take a look at this. Um, you know, like someone's cut that trace and put a jumper across it. I mean, this thing's been hacked. It ain't pretty. But essentially you've got two, two mono block amplifiers. You've got a right channel here and a left channel. This is the side that's got the noise on it. We can compare some voltages. 104, 237. Okay. Big difference there between those two tubes. Right? Wait a minute. 104. Yeah, that's 104. 238. Huge, huge difference. 102. Zero. 104.5. Zero. Zero, of course. This one here. 236 volts on the other side here 101 0 104 right 106 
This is the bad channel. This is the good channel. 0 0.6. I think we, we probably have an open resistor. It's in the preamp side of things for sure. But we probably have an open resistor. Something's certainly messing up the bias. You guys couldn't see the meter. That's why I was calling the readings out to you. But yeah, I guess I gotta I gotta pull the board out and just to take a look at the other side here. Pull the tubes and uh, pick, pull the board out because I gotta see what's on the other side of here. I can't see the can't, can't see the other parts, which I, I need to to be able to really figure out what's going on with this. One. So the screws removed. The vacuum tubes also removed from the other side, and then the circuit board will lift out. There should be enough wires here. Enough, enough, uh, hopefully enough slack on the wires that I can swing the board out and work on it. No, of course not. That would make too much sense to leave enough wire so that someone could work on it without uh, having to disconnect stuff. So of course I have to disconnect the input wires here. So the red and red here, uh, brown here, red there, and uh, a ground so that I can flip the board back so I can check some resistors because I think we're going to find that we got an open resistor on this side over here that's causing the voltages to be way off and causing the tube to really be driven hard and I mean that would certainly shorten the life of these tubes big time but there's going to be a resistor that's open somewhere on this circuit Oh, that was good solder. It just fell right off. Not really impressed with the build quality of this unit. I mean, I'm sure this unit cost a small fortune. And, uh, I mean, it's just... I'm not that impressed with how it's put together. What can I say? Unless it was a kit, and uh, and someone built it, but the fact that it came in a big box because the fellow brought the box with it, uh, I don't think it was a kit, but maybe it was. But I just And it could be it could be a couple of these caps up here too. These blue caps could be problematic. Could be one of these caps that's gone bad, gone leaky. They could certainly uh, give us our, our trouble that we're having. Either it's either a leaky cap or an open resistor. Um, these blue caps have a tendency to go bad. Like they are known problems. I think uh, I had an amplifier not long ago that w that uh, that was a blue cap that was bad on it. But uh, and that could very well be it could be one of these could be one of these ones that have gone bad uh, because they, they go to, they go high high leakage and uh, then you, it throw your your tube goes into conduction. I'll check the resistors and see if there's any resistors that are open first and then check some of these. Probably just replace them as well because I mean those are those are no brainers those ones. But let's check some resistances. Ten K.
1K, that's right. 1K. That's a 1K, isn't it? Yep. 1K, that's right. 100K, that's 100K, or close enough. There should be another 100K there. Yeah, it is. There won't be any of these ones. It'll be in this area here. I think probably these caps are the worst good problem is going to be. Although that one's a little high. That resistor is high, right? Uh, orange, orange, yellow, 330K or, or 0 0.33, measuring 386. This one here, we go over to this one here, and this one's measuring 458. So um, this resistor might be a little bit off in value. Let me see what I've got. 224s at 400. I'll see what I because if I got those caps, I'll change them just for the hell of it because I've got them. If, if I've got them, I'm sure I do. Oh, I guess the power light fell out. I'll have to hot snot that back in when I get this back together. What have they done here? What the? I mean, it's like, really? Oh, I see what they did. Well, isn't that kind of stupid? What a dumb way of doing this. Oh, well. Uh, I'll change these both out. Might be better to mount it on the other side of the board. More room over here. That's for sure. Goes across here. Right. Okay, those two caps replaced. I'm going to check this resistor. I'm going to pull this one resistor out of circuit just so I can measure it. Because I was getting an oddball reading on this one resistor here while it was in circuit. So I just want to test it out of circuit and see whether it's registering correct. And it's measuring 400 and uh, uh, like point, uh, 455. Uh, K, which is a little high, so this resistor is going to have to be replaced as well as it's at uh, 330. So I've put a new 330K resistor in, as you can see, if I measure across here. Well, 320 is close enough. So that's got that resistor changed and uh, both those capacitors. We'll just remount the board again. Reconnecting the input wires, and then I can uh, 
put the tubes back in and we'll take another listen and see if the hiss has gone away or the hum not hiss not yeah it was hum it's humming because it doesn't know the words ha 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 uh, after changing the resistor and the capacitors I'm still hearing a bit of AC hum our 342 volt supply drop down over that 330k resistor 99 volts the other side here okay Here's our 342 volt supply, but we've got 123 volts on this side, which is feeding into the tube, which is causing my tube bias to be incorrect. The thing you always got to consider on tube sets, even though this resistor was measuring high, as we saw, and I changed that out, this resistor, which is 330K, measuring up at uh, 400 and something, what was it? 400 and uh, 450 so that's a little bit high so it's be 330k so I changed that and I changed these two uh, coupling caps which quite often give us trouble but I've still got hum but other things that can cause that is because we're dealing with such high voltages this is a mess this board here whoever's been in, into here I'm gonna clean this off we're just gonna get some isopropyl we'll clean that off and then uh, try it again because we got we're dealing with such high voltages that you can just get leakage over this crap that's on the board because we're dealing with you know close to 400 volts so it doesn't take much and being a high impedance circuit it doesn't take much to upset the balance of the circuitry I don't know if you guys ever noticed that before but that resistor just likes to dance that's from the uh, transformer if I turn it off it stops I don't know if you've noticed that before but that's been doing that for forever. I don't know if it's been picked up in the shop, but I figured I'd show it because I thought it was kind of funny. I'm doing a little bit of staring at the circuit, and I realized that they've they've reversed them. So plate A on the left channel is actually plate B on the right channel, and vice versa. So if we look at uh, plate A. We have 123 volts. Is that what I said? Plate A? 123? Yeah. Well, plate plate B for this one, which is pin 1, and that would be uh, pin 6 on this one, which is 99 volts. 123 volts. A little bit, a little bit higher. Uh, the one that's really off is uh, this one here. Two hundred nineteen volts. That's this one here. This is um, plate. What is it? Plate uh, plate A, which is the same as plate B on the other one. So two hundred nineteen volts here. Two hundred forty-two volts on the other side. Although I don't hear the hum. If it's there, it's very, 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 very faint. Huh. I don't hear the hum anymore. I mean, there's still lots of the stupid flux around here. Even though I washed it off with isopropyl, there's still there's still residue all over the board on this thing. Just shut the power off and let things discharge. I mean, there's just there's a residue everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's a residue on this board. I mean, it's just like really. And when you're dealing with high voltages like this, that, that vacuum tube amps have, it, it really doesn't take much to, uh, a little bit of leakage.
that's quiet. I think I got it. Holy crap. I think I got it. It's just it was all the crap around the board, on the around the tube sockets. After poking around a bit more in it, I decided I was going to put the original blue caps back in because they obviously weren't the problem. And as I was inspecting it, I found a little 500 PF uh, cap that uh, one of the leads had literally was coming detached. It is, uh, where did I go with it? This is, well, this is the lead that fell off. Um, yeah, this is it here. That's what remains of it. And it was actually connected right across here. So I don't have a ceramic, I have a silver mica uh, 500 PF I can put in place of it. It's just one of these little bypass caps here. So I'm going to put that in and uh, we'll give that a shot. So if you remember the sound from before, it was you could hear it humming. I think his tubes might be getting a bit weak. Because as the tubes get weak, uh, you're gonna get a it's gonna affect the balance. It sounds pretty quiet now compared to what it was doing before, which had a very noticeable hum. You don't hear it now. Anyway, that about does it for this one. Sounding good, nice and quiet, no hum. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one, bye.